Hello, little legends, and welcome to some more Rune Terror. We're going to continue playing the second try deck. Uh, I've, I, I've looked a little bit around, and I've, I've crafted some cards and made some changes to this, this one, but I really like it, and for me to... I can't craft enough cards to to really... I wanted to try to... I've been looking at how, how I would get a Yasu combo going and such. I don't even think I could afford to craft a Yasu yet. So I'm just gonna have to play with what I've got. I crafted a few cards that I think will upgrade the deck a little bit. So we should have an easier time winning. And then hopefully that will allow me to farm over time and... Well... Build up my storage of cards. Uh, the, if it has zero power, otherwise frostbite it. Or this one here. I put the, I took out one flash read and added a shatter because it's cheaper. Um, and it can frostbite units, but you need to do it ahead of time because it's slow. Do I replace the flash freeze too? I do. Yeah. Can I choose? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I should have kept that flash freeze. Whatever. Take heart. And we got brown early on. That's really nice. So we will play. Let's start with a lonely pour, so we get a pour into hand. Let's see what that is. A challenger poro. Affectionate poro. Of course. Alright. I think I prefer this poro because it spawns another poro in your hand. Uh, like over one with, say, for example, challenger. So it doesn't. That's one of the better ones because you can do some funny business with this and deny a block on another unit. Now. We can play these two. Oh no, it's the next turn. Uh, I don't want to trade these, do I? I don't know if I would want to. No, because we have the Hail the Spring, and it's nice to combo that in here. Opponent's turn. Let's see what he does. Another Omen Hawk. Okay. That's lucky for him. Herald of Spring, or the Inspiring Mentor, and the Affectionate Poro. Herald of Spring could tank an Omen Hawk. Inspiring Mentor and Affectionate Poro could trade them, and I think that's better. We will buff Braum, of course. And Brown will be going down next turn, surely. Having him at one above uh, zero damage is worth a whole lot, not just because he will be able to kill these creatures, but also because frost spells can sometimes, as we've seen, kill creatures that have zero power. So just having not zero power is pretty good. And my... Lonely Poro is now a jubilant Poro. He is so happy that he has a little Poro friend. GG. If he attacks, I think we just have to trade blows. I don't think I would trade my affection Poro, no. Because I think he is worth way too much. But this I think is fine. Now we get Braum in. Yep. Rom For sure. On the job. And since he's a challenger, he can also choose who to attack and therefore or who to who should block him, and therefore we can kill this poor or this turn. Suck on that, and then we will start leveling him. He needs ten total damage in order to get to that point. Wording stones. That has been buffed. Interesting. Alright. Let's put Brown out. And kill 
visitor portal. And we have begun the leveling process for Brown. That's a slow walk uh, against level or one power units, but we'll get there. And we can combo it with the take heart thing. I think. Uh, do we do this one first or this one? We don't do avalanche right now. It's not gonna kill any of his units and it will kill my little Poro. So we do two level one or uh, two clash units. Let's put out this one. Should I keep this one in the deck? I'm not so sure. Honestly, now that I look at it right here. Oh, it's elusive as well. It's really nice. Okay, and then this one. Herald of Spring. Now, I'm assuming he's not even going to attack because it will just feed my brown. But I was wrong. Interesting choice. Um, I'll take the four damage on brown for sure. And I can kill this Vanguard Defender with my Green Glade Duo. It is an option that we do have. Just as I can choose to damage his uh, Word Stones over here, Wording Stones. Which is probably a fine. And I'll leave this one to attack so we can heal the Nexus with our other stuff. And this one will deal more damage to him next turn. Either way. Oh, I should have traded more because I have the Avalanche. And that is going to hurt my own units here. I can't play it, in fact. Can't justify it. Oh, but we can give this one... 3-3. Three, three. And that is a burst, so I can do it in the middle of combat. Do I want to get my other hero of spring out first? Yes. It'll give him an option to play a card also, which is problematic. How much do we need on Braum? Another... Five. I don't have to click on him. We need to see it here. Enraged Yeti. Nice. Well done. Good card. Now we attack, of course. Uh, let's see. And then this. And then on up brown. Uh, and I'll go all of that back. This one this one then her then brown good and then we want oh this needs to be fast we'll take you over here and brown will take the big one and then i can't choose others and we can burst and heal this one if he tries to take it out Can't do it to this one. So I would like, yeah, exactly. Precisely what I wanted. He's casting his spell though. Okay. This works out really, really, really well. So we get to kill the burning stones. Deal tons of damage. I'm wondering if this will go up in attack. It should go two up in attack next round, I think. And Brahm only needs one damage to... And it did go up to five, indeed. So we could, with Avalanche now, get to level Brown, And we would kill 
almost all of his board. I think that is what should be done. It is his turn to attack, so all of that will be coming at me. He's got five more mana. Hmm. Or I can play the Avarosan Hearthguard. How much can he damage me? Not that much. And Brown can tank the Yeti if needed. The Avarosan Hearthguard will also be able to tank. I think this is better. This is also... Well, our overflow mana will go into spells that will then be used on the Avalanche next turn. He's going full in. You can choose, yeah. Kill that one there. That's fair. And Brown will, of course, tank the big guy. He might have something that then kills Brown. That would be really bad. Now, this works out for me, and this works out for me. Yes, block. Problem here is the avalanche will then kill these two units, and this one will die now. But now I'm not so sure I want to cast the avalanche again. So, tricky, tricky. He's got a spell in hand, surely, since he's kept his mana and all that. All right, yeah, it's flash freeze. Okay, so he keeps his unit here. All right. But I get to level my brow now. And we only took one damage. So brown now even stronger than before at 8-1 or 1-8. Very good. Inside of Aegis is not good. Hmm. I can still Avalanche. We could do that after attacking. And then that would kill the Enraged Yeti. Not kill Brown. And it boosts my They Who Endure. But it's so easy for him to kill these two. It won't really be good. It's this one and this one. But the avalanche will do the same. God damn it. Let's just attack. We can take out this Poro here. So he can't trade so easily with the other ones. Now he needs to sacrifice one of the big creatures if he wants to block both fives. And they who endure... At 8-8 at eight, eight, it's gonna be worth it. So maybe I just play now that we have the mana and nothing else to really do. If he does not block, then I will avalanche and kill my own units, but also his units. And then the, they who endure will be good next turn. He is blocking. Okay, yeah. Should have done the other way around, because I'm pretty sure that this healing from fast healing, this damage from fast healing is only applies to the damage. Now we will get to see if we can overheal. Oh, we should have cast the inside of ages, I think. Now we're getting free units as well. When I survive damage. Oh, so that combos with the avalanche. I completely forgot about that. Sweet. And it kills him. So let's play it. Sure. Do they need our help? He's got one card in hand. They Who Endure is now an 8-8. Eight, eight. This is a great card. All in all. You should always put that in your deck, I think. And I think everyone starts with it. But I don't know that for a fact. 
assuming everyone has a, uh, these same cards available at the start. It does kind of seem like it. A lot of people are playing Demacia and Feliord. So now I do Avalanche. I should burst or inside inside of any ages here first. Uh, let's just do it now. Oh, and I can, we can heal an ally. Nice. Not really necessary. Uh, at the moment, at least. And he gets his own unit 3 3. So it then survives. The avalanche, but I get a mighty poor out of it, which is really nice. And the health potion could go on to this mighty Poro, but I think I will save it. Now the babbling Berg Bjerg is really good. In this case, yeah. Lucky Poro. That has been boosted. Oh, he's out of cards now. This will give me a 5 power unit, not a 5 cost unit. Or we can play the Who Endure. I don't know. Let's just do this. It was right on my tail. Yeah, that's fine. Can't play anything except the health potion, and I don't think I would want to, so we are going to have some overflow in mana, but I mean, so is he. He's wasting 7 mana this turn, which is pretty insane. The emotes are... There's only these f six. And they're sort of I an interesting uh, art style that I haven't seen anywhere else in League of Legends at all. I love this one. All right, Mr. Opponent, you literally... Oh, he does have options. He can attack. He's considering whether or not to attack. So is he gonna? Hot on the train. He is gonna. Now, this seems fairly obvious what I need to do. You are safe with Brawl. Another free Poro. Yeah, Brown really does play into a Poro combo that I might try to build, but I there's so many cards that I was I was looking at the card list. There's so many cards that I would want before I, I do a full polo combo. Now, this one we haven't had before, but it's pretty cool, and this might be the time. So, my two exact copies of an ally there, Ephemeral. No, 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 no. We can do that with They Who Endure. Yeah. And now it's a 9 9 with Overwhelm. He's got one card in hand. What'll it be? I do a little plucky Poro here. So, I, I don't know if there's a unit limit as well and how many you can have in your uh, little bar. And this is where a stress test that we are going to run into right now, because I'm going to be at 7, which I think there should be room for 7. But I'm not sure. Surely 6. Maybe he's trying to bleed me for time here. And I apologize to the viewers for my opponent's tardiness. Maybe he didn't like my emoting. People, Some people get... Testy when you emote at them while they're losing. Peachy. Yeah, he is draining me for time. That's annoying. Oh, okay. Six is the max amount of units, apparently. Why, uh... Oh, they double the strength, right. 
So then Brown might not be that great because he's summoning all these mighty poros that then fill up your little bar. We don't have that many. I might need to put more spells in the book then. The deck, not a book. Again, he's bleeding me for time. Well, I might as well emote at him then. Okay. That is not yet GG. Oh, it was. Never mind. Victory. Oh, play 15 units from Demacia and Noxus. Well, I should probably make a deck that plays into that quest then. We got something there for the vault. I'm not sure what that means. Rewards in here. No, it didn't activate this one here. Collection. Vault. Vault. Guardians. Cards. Home. Select your player icon. Weekly vault. Unlocks on Tuesday. Okay, so I'm building that up to a better and better chest. By the end of the week okay and quests uh i should have then have built a demacia slash slash uh with zero rerolls for daily quests it's fine i'm just gonna play the deck that we have because i don't want to have you guys sit through a deck building process you know what i am changing my mind let's build a new deck and go through the process of that because that's the thing i haven't shown you click the new deck in here and then we will build, what was it, Demacia and Noxus. So we only have one Garen, but we will add him in. We have two Dariuses, we'll add them in. Two Luxus. And that leaves me with only five champions. So then I might go in and say, like, show unowned. Only show from Noxus and Demacia. And we can probably... Yeah, we can't even craft one. Right, they all cost the same. I don't have wild cards at this level. And they cost 3,000 shards. So I won't be able to craft another champion. But we can play without four. So this one I think is good. And then this lady is pretty cool. We saw this one in play before. It was pretty badass. Legion Rearguard can't block. I had one in. Uh, we have... Darius, he combos with getting the Nexus low on the enemy, and then he gets us, he just becomes stronger. I don't know what this final spell on the dudes do yet. It's a shuffle a Darius into your deck, but you can also get a Darius that's decimate with deal the five to the enemy Nexus, but when without the Darius shuffled into your deck, that's if you add it in normally, you don't get that part. So I don't know at all how that works together. Looks uh, if I keep, if you cast six mana positive spells, okay, that's easy to achieve, and that's us they're talking about. And when I see you spend plus six mana on spells, create a final spark in hand. Okay, so we really want lots of spells. Duly noted. Remove all text and keywords from a follower. That's a really strong card. We get the radiant strike. Um, calling strike, kill a unit with three power less. Three or less power. We'll do it again. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this Lauren Protege, we saw that being super effective before, so let's get that in. Uh, give an ally three and overwhelm. Noxian Guillotine, kill a damage unit. You can cast this again this round. Wow. Add it in. Lauren Gatekeeper, Blade Keeper. Uh, we also have spiders in this build with no lease, so spiders are not necessarily super useful. This is an elite. Like uh, when summoned, create a tour de for Demacia in hand, that's a spell, so that's pretty good. Here's the Decimate, but without the Darius part, it's also not Darius, it's Decimate, so that's probably part of the reason. Here we go, that one. This is a nice spell. These will activate looks. Okay, we've got more spells. Fully heal an ally, then double its power and health. 
Sure, and Reckoning. If you have a 5 plus power ally, kill all units with 4 less power. Okay, wow. And this one's pretty cool. Uh, replace your hand with decimates and then you just decimate away. And that combos with looks, so we'll get it. Uh, we still have room for some cards. We need some more units, probably. Here's the one that can't block. We've got a lot of stuff that can't block. When I'm summoned, grant me plus one, plus one for each other ally you have. And this one is a 2-2 two, two and a 3. So this one needs to have three units on the board already when you summon him. Then he's better than the Lord Blade Keeper. How often do we have that? Eh, not that often. I feel like we are pretty weak. Okay, so here's a defender. That sounds like something we would want more of. To stay alive. Can't block. How is the... We need more high level stuff, I think. And we don't really have it. So now we show unowned. Go to the bottom and find something that we want and can't get. Don't have any more rare wild cards. I've used those. None, no blue ones. So we go up. No blue ones. No. And oh, we could afford to cast one of these. Or, or craft one of these. Savage Reckoner. Start of round. Stun the weakest enemy. That's pretty hardcore. Hmm. That sounds really cool. I think I want that. Also gonna combo with the zoo deck later if I ever can get around to it. Alright, let me go up and find some more units that are a little bit cheaper. Let's go for the drawn. We don't really have that one. Grant an ally 2-2. Two, two. This guy also has Overwhelm. Let's get the crowd favorite. Reckless Trifarian. Might... Play Stun an enemy. Okay. That's worth something. An ally and an enemy strike each other. Yeah. When I'm summoned, some of the Spiderling. Two cards. Can't craft anymore. Is this worth it? Do five four damage to the enemy nexus. Yeah, let's do it. One more card. Get the Lord Lake Keeper done. And I'll try it on the next video, because this one is pretty long, I think. Let me check how much time have we used. No, no we, whatever. I'll do it. We'll just play it. It's the new deck here. Some spells and effects require you to select a target. Really? You have set and Jinx on the other side. Okay. Only two heroes, champions. Which means a maximum of four cards. We started with there was in hand. See, we are lacking units here. I'm gonna have to shuffle this one too. And Darius. I think I'll replace him because. Yeah. Yeah, I kinda have to. We need to have some things to play early on. Got an 8 and a 6 and another 6. Okay, but we have something to play. In the first round. Move all text and keywords from a follow. You can do that on your own, guys. So I could do that to remove the can't block thing. That's not too bad. Alright. And a good start. He didn't have anything to play. And my Legion Rear Guard here is a really, really good little one creature when we don't need blockers. Yeah. Deal one to anything or... Purify. We can purify this one so he doesn't get the effect, but I'll just pass, really, and we can store it in spell mana and 
cast him next turn. We don't have to do it right now. Can't block this, so there's not really anything to do. Let me just trade and blows. Look at that poor. Oh, I have to pass. I was Mr. Uh, not mystified. Hypnotized by the Poro doing silly things in the corner. Laurent Protege, yes please. This is burst, we can do that in time. No need to hurry it up. I think we will attack. Yeah, and this one can choose to attack the Herald of Spring, in which case we get to hit the Nexus with the rear guard, and yeah, it's just good. When I'm summoned, refill two spell mana. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that is a good one. Nice. Okay. Uh, we can kill that guy. That's a fast thing, so a burst would stop it. I'm just gonna do it before we attack. Good. So he has mana to do his spell now. Up to four mana. I like that uh, unit that he had. To, to play, what? Spend all your mana, deal four to a unit. Okay. And then we can trade the rear guard for the Herald of Spring, and I will. Since his has a better effect on it, he's not going to want to trade. And I guessed correctly, so we got the damage in. Oh boy, but we are in tr uh, trouble now. Oh. Now we will find out what happens when you... Oh, this is probably not a follower. Right? Uh, she's probably not a follower. This is text and keywords from a follower. Uh... What does Jinx do? I forgot. When your hand is empty. She's happy. Let's try to remove all text and keywords. Yeah, you must target a follower. So it's gonna be on the other one. We have to do it because I had too much mana overflow. Might as well use it. Oh, I could have purified my own guy to be able to block Jinx. Oh, she's quick attack, so it doesn't matter. All right. All right. I can do some big stuff here. Summon two Dauntless Vanguards and grant elite allies. Plus one, plus one. Not bad. We double valor, fully heal an ally, then double its power and health. And this guy we cannot do. Where is my looks? She would be happy to see all these spells. Uh, I think we do have to cast the reinforcements. Because otherwise I am dying. Let's do it. Spend all the mana. If you can deny that one, that would be pretty badass. Nice. 4-4 four, four and 4-4, four, four. so 8-8 eight, eight basically for that spell, and it would have been more if I had more elites on the field. Golden Crush Bot. Hmm. Now, can I attack? Yes. Those two can certainly do it, and the other one will also do it. It's gonna trade with the crush bot, but I can't block anyway. Might as well do this. Let's see if he blocks at all. He does. That's an interesting combination. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay. He's trying to empty his hand, of course. For Jinx. 
interesting mechanic because normally you don't want to be out of spells, but she specifically wants it. Find an ally and overwhelm this thing. There's a burst. Ooh, and set too. Oh, I am so dead. You know what? We can do redoubled valor on this guy. And I think we should. Then he might not want to attack. Oh, if only I had looks on the board. How we would dance and laugh as she leveled up and started blasting the field with all her spells. She's six mana cost to get her on the field. Yeah. We swim within the flows of magic. Yeah, so he decided not to attack. Oh no, he's coming in here. Alright. You're in over your head. Hmm. But I could kill one of his heroes here. And it would have to be said. Otherwise he levels up in this action. Even though it's less damage, I think it's the right call. Oh, we can kill Jinx too. Oh. Um. She has quick attack. So does he. They both have that, so I cannot Face me. kill her, but I can kill Zed, and then this guy. I didn't even see what that guy I killed was. He got to draw a card or something? His looks. I've seen you cast. I wonder if that's if it's enough. Well, we can kill his entire board right now. Kill all units with four power list. That includes looks and my own guy here. But we want him to cast. Or throw down a unit first if we can get him to it. Right? But when would I otherwise do this if not now? And I kill Jinx. Do it. Kill Jinx. Lose my 4 1. Oh, here's something. Oh, he's boosting Jinx. Dang it. Well done. And now I get to do nothing. I mean, I can attack. And of course, I should. Because if he uses Jinx to block, then at least she still dies. It's just sacrificing that assassin thing. That's fine. Now I can't block Jinx next turn. Elf of Spring coming in. That's pretty bad. What did we draw? Stun an enemy. Yeah. Um, if I stun Jinx, we don't die. This is a skill, not a spell. But these things don't say spell on them. All right, so you just have to know that those are spells, not skills. Because I don't. I was thinking about looks, whether or not she considers skills spells, but I don't think she does. Uh, we have a problem. I thought I had mana for looks as well. 
I do not. So we are probably dead here. Well, I'm casting this thing, because why not? I should have saved it. Maybe. I don't know. I think we're losing anyway. It doesn't really matter. Now, I will lose the Dauntless Vanguard if I block with it. Don't understand why he didn't attack with the Keeper of Mask and mask and force it. I can't block this thing at all. So it's, it's actually a pretty easy choice. That's why he's not doing it, I suppose. Oh, and because he had a thing. Deal two to anything. Okay, so I'm dead. He didn't even have to attack with the Herald of Spring. And you can't say you can't say DGG in this game. That's uh, another thing struck me. Alright. That's a pretty bad deck, I'll admit. Need some uh, definite counter plates. Maybe we'll find something here that's worth it. This will be the end of the videos. Uh, the video, for those who don't want to see the cards. But here we go. Romarch, Romage, Romage, Romage. Uh, burst to play, discard two, then draw two. That is a really, really good card. Vision. First, when it's cast or discarded, grant allies and a little combo. Augmented Experimenter. Play, discard your hand. Draw three. Deal three to an enemy unit. Also really good. And an epic wild card is really, really good. And Jinx. Very nice. The champions of Noctis have Notice your commitment. Change active region anytime. Press the change region button to see all regions, then select one reward to view. Then press its active button to start earning its rewards. Active. I hear change region. Okay, so there's a whole extra thing going on. We are not done yet. I see. Uh, activate. So then I'm not in Noxus anymore. I can only do one at a time. Alright. I, I think I want to try Ionia first. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And see you soon for some more Rune Terror. There will be more. Yeah, more coming. See you then. And bye-bye.